Hello Magic players, Barry White here from Magic Untapped. You know, the Ravnica block, and really every Ravnica set ever printed, they've all been about two color factions. So, how did Magic the Gathering's first four color creatures make it into a two color faction set? That's to say, Wizards of the Coast was kind of hedging their bets a little bit. Mark Rosewater has more. So yeah, so what happened with the Nephilim was somebody, my, my guess is like Bill Rose, who's the, the VP of R&D, said, hey, what happens if people don't like the guilds? And we're like, no, 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 they don't like the guilds. And they're like, well, we should make something for people that don't like the guilds. And so I was like, okay, let's do a four color cycle. I, I think we hadn't done a four color cycle before. So, uh, and for some reason, like ironically looking back, what we should have done is like a team up, right? What we should have done, like, oh, we're on Ravnica. Well, why don't we have this guild and this guild, which together make four different colors, team up. But somehow we decided, like, the whole cycle was to be not normal Ravnica. So we came up with, okay, we're going to make these four-color creatures. We had never made four-color creatures before. There weren't any four-color at all. And so I think what happened was they became sort of adopted by the commander crowd as, well, if you wanted to play four-color, okay, these are four-color creatures. There's just not a lot of four-color creatures. Um, I do get a lot of people bugging me about, you know, like, could we make them legendary? And the problem is we don't do what's called functional errata. It actually changes... It changes how the cards work in every other format. So that's not a change we can do. But if I had to do it all over again, I, I would have made them legendary. Like, I, had I known then what I know now, I would have made them legendary. In fact, it's kind of weird they're not legendary. Uh, I don't know how many Nephilim are running around Ravnica. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it was made to be this sort of a quirky, offbeat, different thing. They actually weren't very popular, ironically, uh, when the set came out. Uh, the reason you don't see more Nephilim running around Ravnica is they weren't actually very popular. Um, and the main reason why was people weren't playing four-color decks, right? We, we had this really fun two-color deck. Sometimes in draft you play three-color decks, but usually in construction you play two-color decks, and the Nephilim didn't make any sense there. So it was, ironically, we made something that was for people who didn't like Ravnica, and then it, they weren't played early on because it didn't fit with what Ravnica was. Um, they did find a life later on. I think the commander sort of like said, well, we'll just pretend like they're legendary because we want four-color commanders. And, it, and we, we didn't make them till late. Eventually, we, we started making some four-color commanders. Uh, but they were kind of the first, you know, uh, uh, honorary four-color commander. Mark, thank you very much for that story about how the Nephilim came to be and, well, came to be in Ravnica. Now, what do you guys think about the Nephilim? Are they cool? Did you not like them when they came out, but you like them now? Tell us everything about what you think of the Nephilim in the comment section below here on YouTube, and thank you so much for watching. If you want to support more great Magic the Gathering content like this, please toss a buck on our tip jar on Patreon, and remember to subscribe to Magic Untapped here on YouTube.